Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen. We did a covert action with a stunningly 5% ambush chance and well, look at us. Getting lucky, hitting that 5% shot. Now, what would be really bad... Imagine if we had sent some people on that covert action with poor equipment, because we thought it would never get ambushed. And we'd be totally safe. Oh yeah, no, that's exactly actually what we did. Alright, got an officer over there. Can we reasonably just run away? Just frost profile is kind of low. We could also do the um, adrenaline rush. I could run here and then stun gun this guy. Like ideally, we would want to go get into those high buildings in the lost cities, but. That's not gonna look like we can do it. Stupid question. There any tile, any tile that has line of sight on, on the guys halfway across the map? No, I I didn't I didn't think it. Uh, alternatively, We could try to fire a rocket on this guy and kill him while breaking line of sight with the officer at the same time. Because firing a rocket after moving is not ideal. Okay, if I move here. Officer can come around here, but I don't think he has an... No, he can walk behind this box and flank me. How much damage do you do if you're shot? Though, nope, no chance to crit whatsoever. So you would need to hit for six, maybe. Because you have a basic cannon, so you hit for two, maybe three. Is that your best position? I should be out there hunting. I'm not a fan of my my odds here with the. Uh, The radius of the rocket is so high, any little scatter could get over there. Let's see what you do. That arm is tough. Don't, don't, don't scroll all the way across. Max damage roll. Okay, all right. That seems doable. So I'm not going to use stun gun then. I'm going to just use. Uh. These logs seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. Okay, in addition to that, we don't have line of sight to the officer, so he doesn't have line of sight to us, so he doesn't know where we are. Okay, cool. Now, over here. This squad needs to come in as quickly as possible. So I think we're just gonna go straight through the center. That was close. Um, I'm not sure if I move you up here, if you can blue move up to the edge. You need to be able to take out one of those guys next turn. So I think I'll bring you around the side. Copy that. 
the jet does not have concealment. And you can probably run and gun across the top. Oh, you also don't have concealment. Oh, that might have been a little bit dicey here. Okay. Come on. Berserker we can tank, trooper is a one shot. The mech we can just um, shoot with. That was close. Shoot with anyone really. Uh, shoot with you here. I think if we actually move a little bit closer. Then we get the I have moved this turn bonus, right? You have what's called impulse. Yeah, 10 aim. And not as much range penalty. Heading out. This is what we're looking for. By the numbers. Now, you don't have Whirlwind. Wait, can I take this guy from here? I've been spotted. Impressed yet? I actually think, and yeah, we're going jet down, down here, and we stun gun the, the Berserker this turn. He normally goes for the closest target, but it's it's not a risk I wanna take. Stun him, which also means you can Whatever. Yeah, whatever, exactly. Right. Um that brings us to this officer. All right. I think we're just gonna run it and rush. This exercise never killed anyone. Right up to his face. And then stun gun can still miss. And then we just need to kill him uh, next Let's turn. Show on the road. She's doing work here right now. It's basically, basically a rookie. Okay, so you're actually on the best distance, five tiles away from the officer. That's the best weapon Don't range for cannons. Yeah, weapon range plus ten. Take a hyperreactive, but oh, no, hyperreactive is trash. But hey, advanced uh, hacking is not terrible. Can I get a squad side shot? Everything seems to be in range, in vision. Damage a little bit on the low side, if I may say so. Good. And he has combatives, so he will, will parry the attack, and he has blade storm, so he actually gets a counter attack off before this guy does anything. Alright, so cool. So we just need to find the last group. Good thinking. 
and sort it out before the loss starts showing up. Should normally be somewhere between between the two groups, yeah. Uh, why can I even get in here? Sounds good. I definitely don't want that. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. Well, how about that? Is it just two guys? Officer and a shield bearer. So lost are gonna come in. I think I think I'll gotta gotta attack here. Um, I kinda wanna trap the officer to move in this direction from the activate well, ideally I wanna kill him with this attack. Um, but yeah, we get quick feed, so uh, easy way to get a second attack in. So if he moves in that direction, then I think I can run and gun him with jet. And then you can just kill that. Um, especially if I team up you. I am with you. And then dedication. Their trigger, Go. all good. Knife to meet you. Gotta get the job done. Ah, guys, start running. I think I'll manage as fast as you Stepping can. Off. All right, you get a free Show reload me. for moving, and you pick up the loot. I'm going. What am I doing with this? Okay, the lost spawning behind my rescue squad. Wait. Are those humans? It appears the alien devices dropped during the first invasion had a degenerative effect on these citizens, causing their physical and mental health to rapidly decay. Yeah, we got reinforcements coming in. Organic functions. Approach with caution, Commander. They are certainly dangerous. They should approach me with caution because I'm also certainly dangerous. <laughs> Get moving. Um anyway. Got it covered. All basic lost. They have 14 mobility, so they cannot Well, it's gonna take them a long time to catch up. Let's put it this way. Location confirmed. I'm more concerned with those reinforcements dropping in. No one here in my squad has any worth by overwatches. I'm ready. Still, we're still taken, man. Okay, so the problem is going to be Pathfinder and a Stun Lancer. K 
can we kill these guys while de dealing with this lost group? Now can we just mm, keep running away here and they play with each other? You can get a shot on the Lancer. Pathfinder positioning is a little bit annoying. I think we're just gonna do a tactical retreat to the upper levels. Let's go. Got it. Moving out. Bring Andy up there. Um and everybody else just gonna right. break line of sight to that Pathfinder and to the Lost. Follow me. It's done. Negative damage is kind of really low. Did you see that one? No problem, boss. Out of out of sight for the Pathfinder. I think we just keep running. Just keep running. Here I come. On the move. I don't think the Pathfinder can get line of sight or any shots on us. I'm ready. Enforcement's coming in. On the move. I'll be there. We've got people moving out. I think we can be out next time. Whoa. Affirmative. I'm actually gonna move you Solid into the evac zone so you can take a shot if needed on something that's overwatching and then still get it. They're all regular lost. I'm not even sure if on the ambush missions you have the special lost. There's a mech. But those white mechs will not go on Overwatch when they drop in. Sure. Right. Can you make it out? Yes. Go, go, go! Let's just leave. Sure. Leave. Leave. Right. Well. Got it covered. 
just in time. <laughs> I was very concerned about this one. Uh, you remember setting up that mission with oh, I would never get gonna get ambushed there. This is fine. And this is what we get. That cross purifier also running right at me there. The speaker commended loyal citizens today for standing up to those who would abandon our values for those of the old world. The remarks followed a moment of silence for peacekeepers slain by XCOM dissidents. Now, another option would have been to bring something like a specialist, Dragoon, or something that can use their gremlin to give an aid protocol to the to the um, covert action team across the map. I have yet to discover exactly what. But I think this was a team that can very quickly. Catch up across the map is better. A widespread effect. And you know, it worked. Um, nothing too exciting here. Advanced hacking, I think we don't have any hacking PCS yet, so that's kind of at least something. The rest is pretty much mediocre. So here's a question now. Okay. At least that gave both of you promotions. A Naja, that's nice. That's a good alien unit. Right, carry on. First of all, okay, so that does not increase vigilance in this region. The covert action. Will this increase vigilance though? Uh, what's what my timer on this? Six days. I'm not sure if we want to do this right away. If we have the, well, I always say those those are kind of a little bit easier. Commander, we should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle hmm. soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. Take those promotions here. Okay, our oh, heavy. Um, being one of our few rocket classes, um, I want to train them to be a rocketeer. So we're picking up. Biggest Booms, question mark. Biggest Booms allows you to have rockets to crit, doing plus three damage. Um, the way I use rockets in Mod Jam, especially later on, is mostly for their status effects. So you get rockets that apply burning, that apply poison to enemies, and this way you can disable big pots. Do I care if those rockets crit? No. Do I care more if you can occasionally assist with a holo targeting? Probably. So there's Fearsome and the XCON deck. And on paper, um, it is supposed to work with rocket crits, that a rocket crit can proc Fearsome on the enemies, that they all. Um, Panic, but I've never seen it happen. I've had this combo a few times in previous campaigns, and I'm convinced that this doesn't work. Fearsome does not work on rocket crits, so that really kind of lowers the value of rockets. Uh, critical damage has no impact of, on environmental damage, so the other thing I use rockets for is for cover destruction. Don't care about crits. Um, Thirty percent more damage against robotic targets. Now, I actually think I'll change my mind here and go for holo targeting. Don't care about the crits. All right, so far so good. Our field medic. Um, we did say, or I did say, I want to bring use the arc floor line here. 
So we got the disorientation of this, we got adrenaline rush. Uh, next up would be Arc Pulsar, which then allows you to use it on mechanical units. No idea how much damage this actually does. I don't think I've ever used this even in, in Long War Long War 2 original. So let's try it out. And so alternatives would be low profile and advanced trauma kits if you go for the medical route, but let's let's, let's stay stun gunner here and see see how that checks out. Alright, so we certainly still have the, the people available to do that uh, mission. Do we have the gear? We are kind of um, scraping the bottom of the barrel there with the over the rescue squad. Uh, we should have... Do we have a good hope up for you? Yes. So I'm thinking, yeah, we do, we, we get, let's do the, the thing now and then I can immediately also set up a, another covert action afterwards. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if what are we doing anyway? Okay, rescue from cell. We should have one cool. of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. So we want somebody who can hack. We want somebody who can kill things, scout things. Um, maybe explode things, it's also good. Somebody you can kill from close. Are you tempting me with Trial by Fire here? Especially our heavy just got out of uh, got a mission promotion, so we, we could bring her on this one. She could get a sneak in another promotion, be right up to sergeant. Okay, change of plans. Not the technician. We bring our specialist for the hacking. Still have you for scouting and killing. You for killing up close. You for blowing up things. Actually, you blow up things, you take a break. And we bring our skirmisher. Because we have a good weapon here. Uh, you have armor that has no competition. Telling me we don't have any AP rounds. Okay. Fairly certain we're completely well. No, we're not completely out of money, but we don't have money for AP rounds or another no alloys. Fine. Don't don't shoot unarmored enemies. Leave that to the guys that actually shred stuff. Um, okay, so we've got one suit of. Of Predator armor. I think that goes on jet. Mm. 
no hacking stuff available for you. Okay, that's fine. Hmm, I definitely want to give you the PCS we just got. That should still affect um, the Trojan rolls. Like, equipment doesn't, but this should. Alright, let's get some attachments for this thing. Here's a side. Something for the ammo. You need a loader or a magazine. No auto loader. Well, that's got to be good enough. Um, can maybe give you something here, like a hair trigger? Alright, um, Sergeant Vespia Voluk Naja, Sniper Snake, as uh, I like to call them, um, is gonna get rescued from an advent cell in the next episode. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.